Now, your local forecast from Siouxland's weather team. Happy Tuesday, Siouxland, and thanks for getting up early with us. Here's a look at the Almanac statistics from yesterday, where the low temperature was 59 and the high was 78. You can see that the record high was 101 degrees. Let's have a look outside on the Port Neal Welding Company Skycam HD, where we have sunshine and clear skies to greet us here this morning. And we'll take a look to the east on the Edward Storm Lake Skycam HD with the water park and the beautiful lake in the background. Here's your allergy report. You can see that the pollen levels overall are medium. However, each of the individual categories right now, the weeds, trees, and grasses, are thankfully registering on the lower end of the spectrum. Right now in Sioux City, it's 54 degrees. We have clear skies, a 49 degree dew point, and calm winds are currently out there. As we look at our temperatures, you can see 40s and 50s. It's quite a bit cooler than yesterday morning. 49 right now in Wayne, 54 in Sioux City and Orange City. The temperatures are marginally warmer to the east, where you can see 55 in Carroll and Audubon, and 59 for the current temperature in Storm Lake. Let's move forward and look at that temperature change. About 10 to 20 degrees cooler than yesterday, so it's pretty drastic out there. That's mainly thanks to the dew point, which has been dropping. You can see at 1 a.m. yesterday, it was at 68 degrees. We had that front pass through with the heavy rainfall during the morning. And with the response from that, you can see the dew point has crashed all the way down into the 40s across the majority of Siouxland here. As we take a look at your dew point chart, 49 in Sioux City, 48 in Orange City, and 48 degrees is also the current dew point in Wayne. This is a measurement of how much moisture is in the atmosphere, and thankfully, there isn't quite as much as yesterday, so you don't have to sweat it. Let's have a look at your winds right now, mainly out of the east and northeast, right around 5 miles per hour, so not a particularly strong wind. It might get as high as 15 miles per hour later this afternoon. Zooming all the way out to your satellite and radar on the national scale here, you can see some showers and storms creeping through Missouri, and also some very heavy rain fell through portions of the Chicagoland area. But really what we're focusing on is actually occurring in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see a tropical storm there. That's Tropical Storm Bill. Now, fortunately, it does look like its track is going to take it to the south of Sioux City and Siouxland, so we don't expect to see any showers or storms related to this locally. We have gotten some decent rains recently, but unfortunately, it does look to bring a lot of rain for portions of Texas between Houston and San Antonio. Could pick up several inches of rain, maybe five to seven inches, and of course, that's an area of the country that's already seen tons of rain so far this spring. Your Stormcast HD locally displays that we're going to have some mostly sunny skies today, a few more clouds during the afternoon, and then we have this disturbance begin to roll through here tonight. It looks like the best chance of seeing showers and storms is going to be in western and northern communities in Siouxland. We can see that this disturbance kind of falls apart upon its arrival in Sioux City. And it looks like we have that wave reform here tomorrow, but it'll be based a little bit further to the east. So overall, it doesn't look like this is going to have too big of an impact on our area, just some isolated showers and storms. However, if those storms do form locally, we do have a marginal risk of seeing severe weather. That's inside of the green shading on your screen, which encompasses much of the region. 81 for the high today, a beautiful day out there. 63 for the overnight low. More clouds, an isolated shower or storm is possible. And 85 looks to be our high temperature tomorrow. It'll be mostly cloudy but warm, and unfortunately, we bring that humidity back. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. 81 today, 85 tomorrow. Back down to 82 as we move to Thursday. And then we bring some uh, weekend rain chances into the forecast at 20% apiece for Saturday and Sunday and a high temperature of 86 with some sunshine next Monday. All right, and those lows are getting down nice enough to open the windows at night. It is, yeah. I had the windows open last night. It was pretty comfortable. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much.